We may be two days away from Christmas, but many Americans are focused not on Yuletide joy, but instead on guns. Who has them, who's trying to get them, and how they should be controlled. And tonight, the NRA and its supporters are doubling down. We are hearing reports of a rush at gun shows and gun stores across America today. People buying assault weapons before a possible ban. As NRA executives fanned out across the airwaves this morning with a message of defiance. ABC's David Curley is on the story. The NRA today stuck by its guns that every American school should have an armed guard. If it's crazy to call for putting police and armed security in our school to protect our children, then call me crazy. NRA has blood on its hands. Two days ago, amid protesters and refusing to take questions, the head of the NRA unveiled this plan, belittled by some. Today, Wayne LaPierre finally defended himself. When that horrible monster tried to shoot his way into Sandy Hook School, that if a good guy with a gun had been there, he might have been able to stop. The murder massacre in Newtown, Connecticut has led even some NRA supporters to call for control of guns and magazine clips. But the NRA and its supporters who blame the media, the entertainment culture, and a lack of mental health care are having none of it. But then are you saying that the gun control debate shouldn't be part of this at all? Sure. I mean, Congress is going to debate this. I just think it's it's not part of the ultimate solution on this. At least one school district in New Jersey will place armed guards in schools to the disapproval of the governor. You don't want to make this an armed camp for kids. I don't think that's a positive example for children. Our new ABC News Washington Post poll shows a majority of Americans continue to favor more restrictions on gun ownership. But that may be the reason other Americans are flocking to gun stores. Shelves empty just this week at this North Carolina store. We've never seen anything like this. We have the Christmas business, the hunting season business, and now we have the political business. Pierre was pressed time and again on whether he would agree to just one change in gun laws. He either refused to answer or change the subject. He finished by saying the gun is a tool, the problem is the criminal. Dan? David, let me ask you about another Washington story. We're nine days away now from going over that fiscal cliff. Any progress to speak of today? You know, there are a number of members of Congress today asking that the president and the speaker try one more time. But both Republicans and Democrats from the Senate are saying the chances of that big debt reducing deal really are lost. It's now a small deal. They expect it to come out of the Senate probably later this week.